Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods against AOP. We have New Day dressed as Ninja Turtles for this new action figure line with Roman Reigns dressed as Shredder for these action figures. You would have thought they could maybe license Kevin Nash to play Shredder. Um, How many would they sell, I wonder? Probably probably plenty. Maybe a few less. Um, yeah, so this is... Uh, okay, that's Shredder. Shredder Reigns. Mm-hmm. And uh, the New Day were... Uh, what, who were they? Donatello and... Michelangelo, I think they were representing tonight. Donatello and Michelangelo, yes. Mm-hmm. Look at that. So after the commercial break, Woods and Razor are in, and Woods is attacking with super kicks and hits a missile drop kick. Kingston hits this insane trust fall to the floor, almost overshot Akum going into the barricade. And then carrying cross cheap shots Woods, knocking him off the turnbuckle, and then Odyssey Jones runs down the the aisle wearing a New Day shirt and attacks carrying across, sends him over the barricade. Uh, Pat McAfee, probably speaking for many people, uh, who's that? And this leads to Xavier Woods with a small package victory, pinning Razor at 655. And then AOP are double teaming Woods. So Jones fights off both men and he's kind of just doing these big man spots. But then all of a sudden, he lifts these two guys. And AOP, these are not small men. They bounce these two, like some of those payments for world entertainment superstars, whatever that promotion was that yes. they were going to run. And he drops these two. And then Karrion Cross runs into this extended black hole slam. Uh, this was some super impressive uh, strength that they exuded from odyssey jones and we'll get to the backstage follow-up but odyssey jones veteran of two drafts where he was drafted Mm. to raw looks like this one's gonna stick a two-year veteran of the main roster uh, or at least one and a half this guy has not wrestled uh since march yeah well uh it's his first um tv appearance i i guess on well at least on on the main roster since he was called up in 2023 um, that draft, I don't think he appeared once on Raw after that draft. Yeah, yeah. And it was it's, redrafted this year. Was he? Did he even appear on Raw, or was he drawn? No, I don't think so. Off air. Yeah. So, um, I think you're always happy when they find something for somebody rather than like I'm sure like maybe they were considering cutting him at some point. But this is the role now. Up up until this point, okay. So so the beatdown I think was was really well done. Got some great reactions for this double what sidewalk slam. He looked very impressive, just you know using his size and doing a lot of big power moves. Now the resulting photo of him like and the suggestion of him being the third member of the New Day. Um, was definitely mixed with, uh, um, I think. Uh, met Did with you notice how reactions. Kofi instructed him to fix his shirt so people could see? Sure, yeah, and to look at the hard camera. You know, um, I think he maybe needed some more time in the PC to, to learn that one. Uh, but there was there was going to be more to be to to, to tell um, yes. with this story, which was very yes. interesting. Odyssey Jones is with the New Day in their locker room, and Kofi explains to Woods that he struck up a friendship with Odyssey Jones at the Performance Center while he was rehabbing. And Xavier Woods is caught off guard by this. He did not know Odyssey Jones was going to show up, and he did not know about this new friendship of Kofi's and the idea that Kofi is bringing this guy into the group and never consulted Xavier Woods. Right. Yes. I find it very interesting. So, you know, Kofi and Odyssey in this scene... They're hamming up these celebrations to like an obnoxious, unre- unrealistic level. Well, that was great. Like they were really palling it up like as if he was already a full-fledged member. And Woods kind of plays the rest of us who who find something a bit odd about this entire scene. And listen, anybody who's, who's going odd to step... Jones. <laughs> Anybody who's going to step into to this big E role is going to be met with so, any. It's going to be awkward, you know. It's like it's replacing. Um, um, it's going to be more awkward than replacing the the original two members of Destiny's Child, which really was in. Guys, the we're going to call him Big O. <laughs> that's yeah. That's his name. Was we we used to call him Big O down in the PC. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, if this was an old regime, that would have just been. That would have actually. It would have actually happened. Okay. We like here's uh, leave Cassidy as a member of the new. Rockers and let's just pretend nothing else like that you know ever happened, um, or, or what is it, Lance Von Eric? You know, like this is we're, the Lance. We're Von gonna Eric. call him Bigger E. <laughs> sure, he's bigger. Yeah, 
But Woods is kind of coming here in here, and he's here to remind us that, hey, everybody, yes, there is something really odd about this picture. And he's kind of giving a reaction that the, the rest of us are giving. Like, you know, what's, what is this? Um, and I find it fascinating because even though it seems like they might be done with the final testament now, they are continuing with the tease of a potential Woods and Kofi breakup through... <laughs> Odyssey Jones. What a <laughs> weird connection. Dude, this this photo is awesome. This still photo tells you everything. Yeah, yeah. It's it, So I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated because, okay, the, the Final Testament thing has been a complete flop, in my opinion. Um, they, they've really not done anything to, I think, make me that much more interested. But, but they Karen have- Cross planted the seeds of distrust. This was the whole plan. That's this is, it. This is why Nakamura turned and AJ <laughs> turned. And now what, this is, you, you don't get to these crescendos without <laughs> watering the plant way. And he was the water that has led to this garden of, of <laughs> profitability for this money program. He is a genius. He is, Karrion Cross is, is really the mastermind behind the WWE. WWE, I would say, but I, I'm I'm enjoying this direction. Again, this could completely um, <laughs> derail coming off of this, but I I think this is promising. I want to see this tension being built between Woods and Kofi through the addition of this Big E replacement, and hopefully it means uh, an eventual role for Big E that I think they're they're really saving up for. I think ultimately it's like he either endorses him or he denounces. There's no endorsing of this. This is, I, I, if the resulting picture of this is Kofi Kingston breaking off on his own as a heel with Odyssey Jones as his like bodyguard, taking on like a, like, you know, like, like, a, like an Xavier Woods with a, a more a kind of like serious babyface singles momentum, then I, I think that's a great result. 